AFC Wimbledon have been playing since 2002, but 20 years ago, football in Merton looked very different. I think in the context of, of the history of British football, any description of, of what happened to, to Wimbledon Football Club would have to start with the words, what the bloody hell happened there then? This shabby little club went from non-league football to the upper reaches of the top table of the Football League to winning the FA Cup final at Wembley against Liverpool, possibly the most famous club in the world at the time. You couldn't make it up. If you'd sent that script in to anybody, even ITV4, they would have rejected it. I was there eight years, and uh, for eight years we played at the highest level. It was one family unit. It was a family club, and that made the club so special. And uh, I never had that with any other club. The club was on a roll, but with Plough Lane's tiny capacity of 8,000, it was decided by management that a club share with neighbouring Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park would be more financially beneficial for the club. I played that two, three seasons at Plough Lane, and obviously the crowd was seven, 8,000 maximum. So to compensate, a summer man agreed to go to Sellers Park, obviously, when you got, you know, between 20 and 30,000, so you got more income. But I thought since then, the, the club lost their identity. Football clubs here are a unique part of their community, more so, I think, than in any other part of the world. We still have some good years, you know, in 94, we still finished six in the Premier League. Survive. Then Sam and Man. Sold, his, uh, sold the club to the Norwegian people. The Norwegian coach came and I think they got relegated and since then they've gone uh, you know, downhill. We'd been at Sellers Park for 10 years. That's when everyone started getting letters and, and, and so on um, to say that the club was moving to Milton Keynes. To take that as a cynical money-making exercise, which is all it was, and I don't care what people say about the people of Milton Keynes deserve a football team. Football deserves to be moved all over the country. It, it, it was a shocking thing. It would not be our club. You know, nobody else would stand for, for that kind of distance. That's like moving Leeds to Middlesbrough. But exactly how was the controversial move to Milton Keynes allowed? And did the fans' protest have any influence? It all came to a head in the end when the FA got involved um, and decided to pass judgment on whether the club could or couldn't move to Milton Keynes. We, of course, contested it shouldn't be able to. And the club owners at that time were arguing that it should be able to. You've got that horrible feeling that the worst thing is going to happen, but you can't make yourself believe it until it does. We'd lost and that, that, that they were going to relocate the club to Milton Keynes and, and they, they, they'd won, we'd lost. But I was one of those people that were saying, if they go to Milton Keynes, we'll start again. It's not about whether we're at Sellers Park or whether we're at Plough Lane, it's about whether we've got a club that we believe is a Wimbledon football club. It doesn't matter whether we lose 5-0 in, in a park on a Sunday, if it still feels like Wimbledon football club to us and we all still feel the same thing, it's that shared emotion. Since 2002, promotion has been rapid through the Combined Counties League and the Ishmian divisions. Now they sit near the top of the Ryman's Premier, within touching distance of the Football League. But after three years losing out in the playoffs, can AFC Wimbledon gain promotion into the conference? And with a home ground on their doorstep and an average attendance of nearly 3,000, the Dons are ready to move on up. I actually think that we have three things we're trying to do here. One of these things is get back into the league, and that's, if you like, writing an injustice, the dreadful injustice that was done to this club. The second one is, if we possibly can, and I'm not sure we can, getting back to Merton. And the third one is being a really professional, well-run club. Wouldn't you like to be part of a football club? Most of us would.